Here is another free software tutorial from daconane.com. In this tutorial I'm going to look at OpenOffice Calc and how you can handle text using the formulas um, left, right, mid, lower and concatenate. So without any further ado let's get on with the tutorial. Welcome to another free e-learning tutorial from daconane.com. Today we're going to be looking at using the left, right, mid, lower and concatenate formulas but this time we're going to look at them and how they work in OpenOffice Calc. So again we're going to be looking at how um, this particular software program, this particular um, spreadsheet program can handle text. So again we can see here that I've um, created some columns and some rows and I'm going to put the formulas in each of these columns and it's going to handle the text that's in this column A. So the left function is designed to take a letter from the left hand side of the um, text string and move forward. So let's look at the, the syntax. The argument here is simply um, equal sign in OpenOffice Calc again it, 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 um, all formulas start with an equal sign we type in we type in left then open brackets and the argument is identify the text that you want to take the left letter from and what we can do is just click A2 there we go and we get the capital letter S now what we can also do is we can autofill this down through here and we get JWC so this is a useful trick if you want to um, take the initial letter if you're using um, or trying to create usernames or something like that but it, you know obviously with a name like Smith um, you're going to have lots of uh, potential duplicates so let's look at what else how we can organize this we can see up here um, if we click on we can see this formula here equals left a3 now in Open Office Calc, if we want to separate arguments in a formula, we have to use the semicolon. So if I put in 2 here, what we're saying is um, in the formula, take the start at the left of the, of the text string um, and take the first two characters. So look what happens now. We get Joe. Similarly, if we click on this formula here, and again we separate the arguments with a um, semicolon, and if I type in 3, we will get um, WIL. And lastly, from Curtis here, we click on this, we do this again, semicolon, and add three, we will get Kerr. Oh, let's do four. There we go, we get Kurt. So, you can see how this all works. So let's try the same thing with the right. This time, with the right formula, what um, OpenOffice Calc is going to do is it's going to start at the right hand side of the um, text string and it's going to count backwards so um, obviously if we do this we do right and then open bracket open brackets and click on Smith close brackets we're just going to get the H of Smith so let's auto fill this down through here now again you see we've got three names that end in S so that's not going to help us much so again let's use this this formula again let's do um, 2 we should end up with ES and we do and we click on this one and put in a semicolon the separator and do 3 we will AMS and the last one here is semicolon and we'll do 4 we should end up with Artis or Tis, I think. Tis, there we go. So what about the mid um, formula? What we can do with the mid formula is we can um, take... We, the, the, what the formula does, it starts from the left-hand side of the letter string and it counts in, so we've got three arguments to satisfy this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go equals mid, open brackets, identify, and then what we've got to do now is tell the formula how many letters from the left to count in. So in this case we're going to count in to the second one and we're going to use the colon again, semicolon again, and we're going to say how, once you started at the second letter how many more we're going to do. We'll do 2, 2. So we should get MI at the end of this and we do. So autofill, take this all the way down to here and let's do the same thing again. This time, whoops, no, 
Let's completely screw that up. There we go. Let's do this one. Click on here. So, come back to here. Let's do. Let's start at uh, three and do three. So we should have, end up with Ness, I think. Three and three. There we go. And this one we will do four and three. And then lastly, with Curtis, we'll do four and four, I think. So depending on how um, complex you want to make your usernames or how whatever, whatever text you're trying to extract, these, these three formulas are a really um, useful tool to master in something like OpenOffice Calc. But we've got to think of a specific way of actually making this work in a useful way for us. So the kind of thing you might want to use it for in your organization is you might extract a whole bunch of first names and um, surnames or first names, family names and first names from a database and you want to make a whole bunch of new users or you want to create um, a whole bunch of new emails and whack those into your Active Directory or whatever. So if we look on sheet one here you can see I've already um, created a small import from a database and what we want to do is we want to uh, create a username and then use that username to um, create an email address. So there's two new formulas we're going to work with here. We're going to look at the lower formula and then we're going to look at the concatenate formula. So um, I'm going to insert a new column here. There we go. So I just need to put one here. Um, I'll do this one username. You'll see why in a minute. And I'm going to make this one family name. Doesn't matter which way around I do it, but I'll just make it simple. Right. So now, stuff obviously you bring in from a database is most often going to be appropriately punctuated um, and grammatically correct. So proper nouns going to have uh, capital letters. But obviously for a username and often for email addresses, we want all of that to be lowercase. So again, we can use formulas to actually make that work for us. So we're going to use the lower function. So if I type in here equals lower, open brackets, and we just simply click on this and close the brackets, it's going to convert that text string to lower to lowercase. And so that's going to make life really easy for us. We've now made all of these, do it again, equals lower, open brackets, identify Smith here, there we go, come all the way down to there, and now we've got um, our usernames and our um, family names all in lower case. So the lower function, just look at it again, lower and then you identify the cell is a really good function to look at. And finally, concatenate what the concatenate formula allows you to do, it allows you to take different sets of text and mash them together. So what we're going to do here is we want to take the username John and the family name Smith and push them together based on our, um, uh, let me think, oh, it's for two, I'll show you how to make that work. Let's do this slightly differently. I'm going to insert a formula, uh, insert another column here and let's 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 make a um, username which I wanted to do in the first place and make this first name there we go right so now let's make a username that we're going to put into our concatenate so what we're going to do now is we're going to make our username with a concatenate formula so we'll go equals concatenate, and we want to concatenate John, and this is where it gets a bit tricky now, we need to use that formula we did before, we want to go comma, and then we want to do left, not comma, semicolon, left, open brackets, Smith, and in this case, in our organization, we want to take the first two characters, so it's two, 
close brackets and you need to make sure that you close all the brackets so we've opened two here and you can see that the outer ones are in bold and the inner ones are lowercase let's see we should end up with John SM and we do and now we can use this pull down function to get our usernames and now we can use the concatenate formula again to build our email address and what we're going to do is we're going to take our username plus our domain name and concatenate those into a um, email address for us um, I'm sure you could make this much more shorthand if you wanted to but I wanted to take the opportunity to um, repeat the concatenate formula for you so that you get it nice and firmly fixed in your heads so equals concatenate open brackets and we want to take this text string separated with a semicolon now this time what we want to do is insert our own consistent text string and so to tell the form um, open office calc that we're going to do this with um, to insert our own text string we put our text strings inside double quotes in this case is going to be the sub the sec secondary part of our um, email address that's going to be at my domain dot com and then we close it with um, double speech marks and close with a closing comma and there we go we get our complete email address with um, our database so obviously once you set all of this up you can just simply drop in your um, new name so let's, let's see how the, ma the magic of this works what we'll do is we will also fill down through to here nothing happens but now let's put a name in here let's call ourselves um, name there we go and all of a sudden we've created straight away our username and our email address which you can now export to whichever program you want to use and so what we've got there is some very very powerful but very simple formulas to use to actually make your productivity in your workspace much easier thank you for choosing to watch this video I hope you have found it informative and easy to follow if you would like to learn more from me then please click on the subscribe button to be kept in the dacanane.com tutorial loop I love feedback, so please leave a comment, and if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please let me know. So, until my next video hits your feeds, thanks again for watching.